I'm back. It was pretty punishing for the duration of the pack out, but it's all all's well that ends well. All right. I just thought I'd let you know because there's somebody's probably like, did he make it? I made it. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Under Armour. Never detected, always lethal. And by G5, designed to hunt. Carbon Express, shoot better. GTAC Safety Harness, experience the freedom to hunt. And by Prime, accuracy is everything. It's gonna be a beast of a pack out of here. I'm prepared to build a fire, eat it, take it out of my stomach. Maybe at that threshold where it's like, I could be that guy that just goes crazy. I'm back. Up here, what? What more do I have? Oh, she's all loaded up. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom. Look at that guy. Hungry, eat, thirsty, drink. Cold, make a fire. You wonder why I'm crazy? That's why. I am crazy about sheep hunting. It is probably because the opportunity to hunt them is so rare. It takes years of applying and still little luck. After 16 years of putting in, I finally have a sheep tag in my pocket. This hunt is different than most. I want to put in some serious time scouting, so on opening day, I'm ready. The plan is to scout hard 10 days before the season across a vast expanse of wilderness in hopes of locating the best ram I can. This area is big and dry with very little water. It just adds to the challenge of the whole experience. I want to cover the range north to south, so I pack light and bivouac out as I travel. I am hoping that by covering a lot of ground, I can find a sheep where no other hunters want to hike to. On this hunt, I'm here for the experience, and I like the idea of solitude. I want to get into a spot where I know no one else will bother me for the entire duration of the trip. Today I came into this, this new area here and uh, packed in and I've already seen 13 rams and a couple of them look pretty good so I think I'm just going to keep scouting here and spend a little bit of time going from ridge to ridge and checking every canyon and gully I can because this could be the spot that I find my monster sheep. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm hoping that this hunt is a pay it forward hunt where I scout and then opening day, game over. Well, I've set up glass in here and uh, packed in about four and a half miles. It's pretty hot, pretty dusty, pretty dry, but I'm seeing rams. I've seen two rams so far while scouting that I think could be shooters. The thing is, I want to look over a lot of rams before I make my decision. Not that they aren't big enough, but it's nice to know what's out there. I mean, this is one of those tags that took me 16 years to draw this tag. If I, once I'm done with this hunt, it'll be 10 years before I can even apply again. So, realistically, I 26 to 30 years before I can come hunt these, these sheep again. So, you know, it's one of those things that I just want to make it. And I'm not saying I need to kill the biggest ram in the unit or anything like that, but I just want to make it a fun hunt for myself, so 
I'm out here scouting a lot and uh, trying to find the biggest ram I can and when, what it's going to come down to for me is just the ram that I want. I'm not really considering score so much as just a ram that looks good the way I want to hunt it and um, I'm just going to leave it at that. The official knives and game processing sets for Solo Hunter are from Outdoor Edge. Quality knives and tools for all your outdoor adventures. Protected by Venture Medical Kits and survive outdoors longer. Expect the unexpected. For all of our season updates or to share your photos and videos with the world, search us out at Solo Hunter TV on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Caldwell Shooting Supplies. Versatility for every shooter, accuracy for every shot, only from Caldwell. Once again, I'm scouting, uh, this time a new area. What I'm trying to do is just pretty much cover this entire range, uh, starting from the furthest point, and then just working my way, working my way north from there. Um, I've about got it covered now. I've just got one or two more canyons I want to check. And uh, then the season opens in about two days, so I just spotted a ram that's gonna take a Take a closer look at that. It doesn't look bad. They always seem to be just having their butt to you, I swear. Got a good drop. He comes up nice. He looks like he has good mass. I don't see a whole lot wrong with him. I think I need to investigate a little more tomorrow. Try to get the scope on him. The camera real quick. It's nice. Got a nice shape. Good looking. Good looking sheep. came back where I spotted that ram last night. I'm actually two drainages over and uh, I relocated him and he bedded down right across from me about 900 yards away. Um, I got a good look at him. He's a nice ram. He's got really long horns, but uh, I just don't think his bases are big enough. So I think I'm gonna have to keep looking. It's, uh, it's not a clear cut shooter just yet. I don't think he's the biggest one I've seen, but he's definitely the prettiest one he's got. You know, comes and tips back up. He's got decent mass. He just doesn't carry his mass as well as some of the other ones. Some of the ones that carry their mass well with really short horns. So it's a good looking sheep for sure. I don't know. It's tough. off after that ram try to get a closer look he's still uh, just milling around but I think uh, if I get a little bit closer I'll really be able to tell if he's a ram I want to take or not he looks good from here but I'm still three or four miles away so I think uh, getting within a thousand yards or so will be a much better gauge of what kind of ram he is I'm about uh, halfway between the sheep and where I was originally at. I'm just gonna sneak around this rock pile here and start blasting. If I can't pick him out again, get a good look at him, see if I can judge him being a little bit closer maybe. This ram is not one I've seen before. This thing is a giant. This is a world-class sheep. Um, I'm actually getting pretty nervous because I've been wanting this tag for a long time and 
you know, everybody says, you know, a big ram when you see it. When I saw this ram, I'm like, that thing's huge. I've seen a lot of good rams this while scouting. Um, this is by far the biggest one. I mean, the best shape. Just pretty much got everything that I'm looking for. Solo Magnified is brought to you by Vortex, the force of optics. Big rams hang out in big country. Heck, even the smaller ones seem to like to hang out in the difficult areas to access. Bighorn sheep have incredible eyesight. They use this huge expanse of terrain to their advantage. So if they are looking for you from a mile away, it only makes sense for you to do the same thing and plan on spotting them from a distance. Sheep are the color of dirt and very difficult to pick out. And with age restrictions in certain areas, or if you're just looking for that record book ram to score, then you had better have the best optics that you can afford. When you may have only one chance in your lifetime to hunt such an amazing animal, you want to give yourself every opportunity for success. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Random Gear, makers of the Solo Hunter rifle cover, your gun's best protection against the elements. Phone Scope, digiscoping accessories for your smartphones, pads, GoPros, and DSLRs. The future of digiscoping is here. A shot of the mountain where he's at. He's actually in that cliff off to the far right. Right in there. If he beds right where he's at now, I can just kind of work my way up and around, drop down a ridge in front of him, and then pop up within range. Whether I'll be able to see him or not, I don't know from there. But I don't want him working too close because I don't want to spook. just snuck up here to these rocks and I popped over. I see the rock that he was behind. The rock he was behind is 150 yards. I'm pretty sure he's just bedded or at least still milling around right behind it. So I'm gonna drop down this ridge and uh, sneak around and I should have a shot maybe 200 yards down the canyon. Just pop up again. This time, next time I'll set the camera. Hopefully I'll see him and uh, fingers crossed, I can get a shot. I just took what I think is a great California bighorn. This is a subspecies that you don't find very many places. And I just feel so honored to be able to go on this hunt and to take this ram. And when he came out from those rocks, my heart was pounding. I was like, this is, this is the sheep that I've been looking for. Let me grab my pack and I'll be back. Ah, gonna go grab him, check him out. <laughs> I like that it was up close and personal too, even even though I was using the rifle. I like that I shot him under 200 yards, you know. When that ram stepped out, my heart started pounding and I was shaking like a 12-year-old staring down his first deer. 
Oh man. Wow. That's a great looking ram. and a half. Wow, he's a nice mature ram. He's got everything, length, mass. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom, look at that guy right there. I gotta get him set up. He's a brute, his body's huge. Look at this California. Normally Californians have pretty short horns. They don't really tip up because they're broomed off. I mean, this guy comes up above his head well. He's got length, he's got great mass. And look at, he's just got the shape that I was looking for. I just don't think you can find a prettier California bighorn anywhere. These are uh, a unique subspecies of the Rocky Mountain bighorn. Their horns don't get as big, but their bodies are ginormous. I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna pack it, and I'm gonna, you know, if I gotta be miserable packing all the meat out I can, that's all part of the fun. It's a labor of love, so. That's sweet, man. I'm gonna take advantage while it's snowing. Just to show you why, you know, why I packed the rifle cover. It's snowing here and it's cold enough that the snow's not really wet, so it kind of falls off, but you can see, the inside of my gun, the scope, the action, everything is protected from the snow. Extremely water resistant, but it also helps when you're going through the brush and uh, keeping any debris or anything out of your, your scope or into your action. If I need to get it off quick, it just pops off real quick. You know, it's just an elastic, a series of elastic bands holding it. So it has an, two elastics on the bottom, one on each side. And then it has two elastics on the side, giving it a nice form fit around the rifle. Until it's time to pull the trigger, uh, this rifle cover is on my rifle. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows. Shoot better, shoot Carbon Express. And by True Fire releases, don't settle for anything less. show you how to take care of an animal when it's hot out. I'm gonna get him cut up, hung, and a lot of people say like, what do you do? You know, you can't shoot animals when it's hot out. Well, that's not true. You just gotta take care of them right. The only way to do the hide by punching is to come up from the bottom. These muscles hold the, the, the skin on and are used to control the hairs to raise and lower to cool the animal. Perfectly clean. It's important when it's hot out, otherwise the meat underneath will trap heat in the hide and won't allow air to get to this part. And then the hair will slip and it'll spoil, just like meat can spoil. Once you've uh, skinned out the, the cape, you're gonna wanna lay it out and just let the air cool it. I like to put the nose down and let air get in all around behind the head as well. Um, that way when you wrap it up and put it inside your pack, it's cooled down to the point where the hair is not going to slip. Same with the meat. I hang the meat or put it up off the ground, let air circulate around it. And even if it's hot out, um, if you can find shade, definitely find shade. And then I'll, I'll bone it out um, because a lot of meat sours from the bone first. Um, but the key is to get air circulation around it. Once it gets that film and cools down, then you can put it in your pack um, and keep it in the game bag or whatever and pack it out and then it will be fine. Uh, I'm boning it out and then putting it in this game bag here and the game bag's what will go inside my pack. So that way the meat's all cool. I mean, it's cool to the touch. It feels cool even though it's hot out. I luckily, I've got some cloud cover moving in and there was some shade on this rock, but it's really surprising how cool this meat is for as hot as it was earlier. The rain just cooled everything off so quick. I got the sheep in the back. It's pretty heavy, not gonna lie. Got a long ways to go. But, slow and steady wins the race, one foot at a time. Oh man, 
Well, fast and steady wins the race over slow and steady. I'm going fast and steady. This hunt was honestly one of the best hunts I've ever been on. Not very often do things work out perfect. This hunt was unbelievable in every way. The country, the animals, the whole experience. Then to take a great ram was just icing on the cake for an amazing adventure. I'm really feeling energetic, I call myself Rembo.